the health of the UK's rivers is under threat. The effects of intensive farming, urbanisation and climate change are taking their toll. The Rivers Trust is a charity that works to protect, promote and enhance our river environment for both people and wildlife. Sue Savile was lucky enough to spend a hot summer's day with the team. Vibrant freshwater habitats like this across the country support more than 100,000 known species of wildlife. Yet only 14% of rivers in England and Wales are in a good ecological state. Now, in partnership with businesses and communities, the Rivers Trusts are using nature-based solutions to create a healthier future. Nature-based solutions we see as a great way of tackling the, the twin crises of nature depletion and climate change. So building wetlands in the landscape, planting trees in strategic places, restoring habitat alongside rivers, and restoring healthy soils on agricultural land. All of these things slow the flow of water over the landscape, they reduce flooding, and they purify the water and reduce the amount of pollution that's getting into, uh, into our water courses. Evidence that European migratory fish populations have declined by 93% tells us that urgent action is needed. We're facing a nature depletion crisis and a climate crisis. If we're going to have water to drink in the future, um, if we're going to have nature to enjoy in our countryside and to support natural uh, systems which we rely on for our, for our food and well-being, we need to restore our rivers to good health urgently. That's what's been happening in Richmond Park on the outskirts of London, restoring the river by adding meanders, trees and planting to enhance biodiversity, then tackling the quality of water draining into Beverly Brook. It looks very green here, just beyond the fence. There's a very urban area, lots of A roads as well, draining into them. And that's bringing this toxic cocktail of hydrocarbons and oils and microplastics that come off the roads from exhaust fumes and tyre wear and catalytic converters and the like. And it washes straight down the surface water drain and is conveyed straight into the river unfiltered. And that's really toxic to the, to the river and the wildlife that's, that's here. First, Bella's team put in a green solution, a large pond creating a silt trap on the adjacent golf course. Then a hard infrastructure solution, a huge hydrodynamic vortex chamber buried underground to filter incoming water, paid for by the local community and big business like Coca-Cola. Water is our business, so it's about really looking to make sure that there's water security, not just for our business and our supply chain, so, so our suppliers, for example, all the agricultural ingredients that go into our drinks, but also for communities and nature, so we take a very holistic approach to this. Managing water as a scarce and valuable resource is vital for industries like fruit growing. Here in Kent, a partnership of organisations developed the Holistic Water in Horticulture project to address water stress and ensure supply chain resilience. So we're looking at capturing water, say from rainwater harvesting for irrigation on site. Uh, so that would be increasing water self-sufficiency for the grower. And also looking at nature-based solutions such as sediment traps, floral strips, biodiverse ponds to reduce runoff. For this fruit farmer supplying leading supermarkets, sustainable water supplies are vital as the climate changes. The weather patterns aren't as usual as they were. We, we can't rely on summer rain. We have to make sure that what water we're going to use we have stored or is sustainable. Um, otherwise our industry will fail. Conserving the water we have, improving its quality, finding natural solutions to manage supplies. The Rivers Trusts are rising to these challenges in order to secure a more sustainable future for all.